Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today's recipe is shalgam or a small turnip. I got about uh, one and a half kilo turnip or shalgam and we're gonna peel them, wash it and cut it in small dices. And here I got uh, some fresh ginger, garlic, green chilies and some jaggeries then I'm gonna break that jaggery and put it in when I start cooking and I got some spices here I got a teaspoon of salt turmeric carom seeds and uh, cumin seeds they all one tea, uh, tea, tea, teaspoon and I just got about uh, three fresh cut tomatoes and about two big onions and I'm gonna cook that in a ghee today because I like to cook in a ghee you can use butter or oil that's up to your choice but I'm just gonna make it in a ghee today so before we cut that uh, turnips we're gonna start to make uh, the masala first and while it's cooking we're gonna cut the turnips as well and just make it in small dices so let's start to make how to cook the turnip or shalgam. Got about uh, two big spoons of ghee. Now the ghee is melting and I'm gonna put the cumin seeds and carom seed first and then I add the salt and the turmeric in. The cumin seed and carom seeds are cooked. Now I'm gonna add the salt and the turmeric in cook that about a minute and then we're gonna add the ginger and garlic and green chilies just got a low heat so try to cook the spices on low heat and they cook it properly so about a minute or two and then we're going to add the ginger and garlic. Add the ginger, garlic and green chilies. I'm going to cook it on low heat about two, two minutes. And then we're going to add the, the onions in. So while we just cooking the onions and the spices, Meanwhile, we're going to cut the turnip and make it dices and just put it in after that. It's two minutes now. Our ginger garlic is cooked. Now we're going to add the onions in. I'm going to cook it till it's brown. And we're going to put the lid on and leave it on the low heat for about five minutes and then we're going to check it almost five minutes our onions and spices are cooked now i'm going to add the tomatoes in i'm going to cook it about another five minutes for the tomatoes And I covered with the lid while I was cooking this. I just peel this uh, shulgans and uh, wash it and uh, dice it. But I just taste it; they are really fresh, and uh, they don't don't have a um, tang tangy uh, bit in. So now I'm gonna put it half of the jaggery, not full jaggery. When you cut it and you try to eat one piece, and if you feel like it, uh, it's just uh, stinging on your tongue. That means like, you know, you need to have a put uh, that amount of jaggery, but they are soft and then uh, they didn't have that thing in. So we're just going to put it half jaggery. And sometimes when you buy the um, turnips, they are very hard and then you need to boil it first for a few minutes 
and then you can add in the tadka but they are quite soft so i don't need to boil it now the tadka is ready and we're gonna put the shalgams in and then we're gonna add about uh, small we put the shalgam in and then we're gonna add about that much jaggery then i add the one glass of water so if we need a uh, more water we can add it uh, hot water later on it's about 10 minutes we're just going to check it uh, it looks like there's plenty of water in we don't need to put the uh, extra water in at the moment because they are quite fresh and sometimes they leave their own water so we're just going to cook another 20 minutes and then we're going to keep checking in between almost uh, 20 minutes let's check then they And check it yeah they just cook like but uh, you need put in maybe another half a glass of hot water which I boiled it in the kettle and then I'm gonna put that half glass and then we're gonna cook it another 10 to 15 minutes because we need that little bit of mash it still like looks like pieces but we need a bit mash of that and maybe another 10 minutes to cook then we're gonna put the fresh coriander it's uh, almost 45 minutes i cook that on very low heat so just gonna check it so that's all done now you can see the over shelgum or small turnips are ready to serve i'm gonna add some fresh coriander and then we're gonna dish it out shalgams are ready to eat now check on my channel check the recipe and uh, try the shalgam like that way let me know how you find the recipe if there's any questions don't hesitate to ask and to write it down in comments and I'm gonna send you the answers back and I'm gonna see you another day with the new recipe so bye for now and God bless everyone. Bye.